Hello and welcome to episode 11, part 2 of UK NBA. I'm Ryan Hillback. And I'm Peter Wells. And it's a continuation of the news now because we've got that much news. We need another part to dedicate to the news. Uh, we're starting with the Atlanta Hawks and the fact that they've set a new franchise record with their 15th straight victory last Friday. Talk has already started about uh, beating the Lakers' this 33-game streak, yeah. setting the 70s. Can they do it? Um, it's going to be tough. We're going to talk about this in the next few weeks. Hopefully next week they'll still be on this unbeaten run. Uh, I think we need to get to about 20 games unbeaten. And never Before we start really, having a part where we're going, look, they yeah. might win this, they might lose yeah. that. Certainly, yeah. but we'll, we'll definitely, if they're still unbeaten next week, we promise to have a feature on the Hawks. Of when they're sure. going to lose or can I, how they're going to maintain it. Break the record. Now, if you're a basketball fan and you've not heard the next piece of news, you've probably been living in the cave. I'm not sure what you've been doing. No. But um, the Golden State Warriors, Clay Thompson, smashed a record for the most points scored in the quarter, getting a total, an amazing total of 37 points during the third quarter of their game. Yeah, and that was who was that against again? That was Elizabeth. against the Sacramento Kings. Sacramento Kings, Kings yeah. yeah. See, I've been living in the cave. Yeah, yeah. 13 <laughs> for 13 he was from the field, didn't miss a shot. 9 for 9 from three point land. And there was one point. 13 out of 13 yeah, in total, it's yeah. Fantastic. I mean, hit everything he wanted to hit. Um, the, he even went to the result of fouling him. The fouled him, he took a step to the right. Bang, hit the basket. Still got it in the basket. Even though he wasn't really trying, everything he was throwing up went down. And if you haven't, if you haven't seen it after you've watched us, of course, yeah. you need to go onto the Warriors commentary on, on YouTube. YouTube. Watch because that the, the way that the way that they were reporting they were on it was what amazing. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, you love that commentary over here. Why can't yeah. we get that kind of commentary? I That's mean, true. They were going ballistic. The fans were going crazy. I think on that one performance, I'm going to say that the Warriors will win the NBA title. I'm going to say that the Cavaliers will win the NBA <laughs> no, title. It's, uh, unfortunately, I've changed teams constantly. You've got, you gone and this back is my, and forth, back and forth. Next change. I've never said the Warriors so far. No, I don't think you have to be fair. Um, the street. I mean, you've gone to the, you've you've thought Raptors, Hawks. Yeah. You've gone you've gone you've, gone, you've gone through everybody. Bulls. Okay, even see, even Miami suppose. Heat at one point. Yeah. Which I thought yeah, was just was ridiculous, but. <laughs> but, uh, that was probably on Christmas now. Day when you text me saying we're going to win the yeah. I was like no you're not but uh, the atmosphere <clears> in the stadium they're going to have home court advantage for the playoffs the atmosphere in that stadium is electric and it's going to be tough to go there and win um, what you know, a couple of games there. It's going to be hard to win yeah, one Yeah, I mean, game. home court advantage is such a key thing in the NBA. Yeah. And having that home court advantage already makes them one of the favourites yeah. to win the NBA. And uh, going on to some injury news now, um, we hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this we always see... This is good news, huh? oh, oh, This one's good news. I'm jumping ahead, I am. You are, yeah. Uh, this is good news. Uh, last year's finals MVP, Carly Leonard, he's returned after a long injury setback for the Spurs. Yeah, that's brilliant news for the Spurs. Great defender, can guard through one till five. Um, he's a fantastic defender, primitive defender. Locks down your best player yes. on the position team. And he's what the Spurs have been missing, which is why they've been so inconsistent this mm. season. Uh, hopefully, he should bring consistency back to San Antonio. Now we get on to the bad news. Yeah, we go on to the bad news of a couple ACL injuries here. Kendall Marshall, Kendall Marshall apologies, uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks will miss the rest of the season, tearing his ACL. That was in yeah, London. As it was against the Knicks, yeah. a game that uh, we went to, as we mentioned last yes, week. Yes, yes. And yeah. we saw him go down, didn't he? He went down, he twisted. It didn't seem the worst ACL tear we've ever seen. Yeah, but we thought when we were in the crowd, we yeah, thought, it blimey, bad. it's it not... It's not uh, it's not looking good for him and yeah, uh, yeah. he's out so, unfortunately. Great great occasion though, wasn't it? That? I mean, we haven't had a chance yes. to talk about it. What, what yeah, an occasion! What an occasion. Uh, shame the game wasn't very good. The ga- the game was poor, poor. and I think it, Carmelo Anthony at least made it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, uh, it was going to be a competitive spirit near the end, but uh, the fans were always with the Knicks. Uh, I think yeah, he was with the Bucks, really. I think. Uh, yeah, we're just that sick of the Knicks. We can't. I just see. Yeah. Yeah. I watched them against the Hornets last night. Oh, I nearly fell asleep. Oh dear, I know. Seventy six. 71, not, not a lot. Uh, and do you know, do you know, I've got a statistic, a set on commentary. Um, it's halfway through the second quarter. The score combined it, no, sorry, towards the start of the second mm. quarter. If you combine their scores together at that time, it was still less than what Carmel, than what Clay Thompson did in the third quarter that's against the Kings. Exactly that's how terrible the game was. So he was out scoring them combined. Both, yeah. Yeah. Right, and uh, for the Sixers, um, the news of Tony Rolton's injury, he's suffered a torn ACL, probably missed the rest of the yeah, season. Yeah, he should be out for the rest of the season, unfortunately. 
Uh, Larry Sanders, another Bucks player. The Bucks season isn't going that great at the moment. Jabari Parker's out, Marshall's out, and now Larry Sanders will be suspended ten games after testing positive. Well, he's for been he's been smoking the dope, hasn't he? Yeah, and this is his fourth violation of the league's uh, drug but testing. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, I've got no no sympathy whatsoever with Larry Sanders. He's certainly got to address this. I think he's uh, he's got, got a drug addiction, and, hasn't he? He's got to sit down. He's got to address his, this. Uh, you know, matter what, he knows what the laws are. He knows what the rules are. He knows and, how uh, dangerous marijuana is to your yeah. health, really. And uh, unfortunately, it's a it's a blow for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're the ones you really feel sorry for. The fact that they're missing out on such a good player. And the player. fans as well. Yeah, they want to see him playing basketball. He would rather see clowns in his bedroom. <laughs> unfortunately. I don't know, the one yeah. cheese for Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. On to a little... I've got to compose myself after that. <laughs> on to a little bit of fisticuffs uh, a couple of weeks ago. Kevin Garnett and uh, Dwight Howard came to blows. Nearly came to blows, should I say. Uh, Kevin Garnett did headbutt Dwight there was Howard. A, there was a bit of argy bargy, yeah. a little bit of pushing and shoving. It was quite a fun exchange, you know, you wanted to see a little bit more. Um, but it ended pretty quickly. Garnett, yeah, just taking you through it if you didn't see it. Yeah, uh, Garnett basically threw the ball off the back of Dwight Howard, retaliating to Dwight Howard, pushing him in the chest. Um, and then obviously again Garnett come up for no particular reason headbutted Dwight Howard uh, Dwight Howard pushed him in the throat uh, Dwight's got um, a, had a sus- um, not a suspension he had a fine mm. which I thought was a bit harsh it seems he only got headbutted I can't remember how much it was it was a couple of grand $15,000 yeah, it's quite a lot then. so it's a bit of a bit unfortunate really that's a lot of money isn't it point like 15000 to be headbutted you know, he's a bit harsh. At least, a... make, at least make the most of it if you're going to get $15,000. Yeah. <laughs> Garnett uh, got suspended for one game. So... I mean, that's a bit disproportionate, isn't it, really? Yeah, to a fine, but again. Okay. But then again, if you're going to get headbutted, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, I'm going to let you do the honours uh, for oh, this well, one. I've been looking forward to doing this. I did this today after Hassan Whiteside's amazing game last night. He broke the, uh, well, he set the new record this season for an NBA high of 12 blocks. That is also a new Heat franchise record. That's impressive. Seems as one of the best blockers in NBA history. Uh, Alonzo Mourning used to play for Miami Heat. Uh, Whiteside also snapped up his first career triple-double with 14 points, 12 rebounds and 12 blocks. And we're going to be talking about Whiteside a lot more next week in a special yeah. feature because he's really transforming the Heat as a He absolutely team. is. I mean, they always talk about Wade, but it's time to talk about Hassan yeah, Whiteside yeah, as well. Yeah, certainly come out of nowhere with his performances, and he's one to watch right now. Okay then, yeah, that wraps up uh, part two of episode 11 of UK and We're coming back with part three in a minute, which key is match-up. key, key match-ups. matchups. As ever, we look at the key matchups and predict three 